Hey there, Media Mail Gang. It is Katie with Katie Reads, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, we are headed to Salvation Army. They have books 10 for $2. <music> It's 20 cents a piece, obviously, plus tax. I am so excited. We're going to go check it out, see what I can find for eBay, maybe whatnot, and just kind of feel it out. I'm curious if they're going to have their VHS tapes super cheap too, depending what they have. I'm always looking for horror VHS to resell or just a really cool pop culture VHS that I can turn into notebooks. I will go and we will check it out. Now, quick note, there's tons of Louis L'Amour in here, but a lot of them are beat up. Uh, really bad condition, as you can see. Even at 20 cents a piece, I would not put time and energy into making a really huge lot and trying to sell them. I would likely only do this if I was getting them for free, like from a free book pickup. Thank you. Then I'm outdated. <laughs> not sure you are. You can the book is. There's a difference there. So you guys, um, shout out to Izzy for helping me while we were in the store. I found quite a few really good books. Uh, so in the video, you guys saw me make a comment about the Louis L'Amour. There was tons of paperback and I could have totally snatched those up. Getting all of them and trying to flip them as a bulk lot on eBay is definitely, definitely possible. But because of the condition of a lot of them, the spine, some of them you couldn't even read the title on the spine or they were just completely falling apart. And for me personally, uh, if I'm going to source, condition is really important to me. When I get free books, that's a totally different approach. I'm trying to pinch pennies out of the free inventory that I'm getting. So outsourcing, I'm very picky about condition. With that said, I am really excited. A couple of the Louis L'Amour hardcovers that I found uh, are pretty decent. They're modern, they're reprints in a bundle. I think they'll do good, but there was a couple leather bound ones and then a memoir that he wrote. So I'm pretty excited about that. We are going to head back to the house and I'll show you everything. Hey y'all, so here's what we have. We have this entire box and these two bags full of books. I do have a couple VHS tapes. I grabbed Desperado for my personal collection and then these I'm going to make some notebooks out of. Um, I was a little nervous with this one because as you can see the plastic is really gone on that one, but we'll figure it out. And I grabbed some die cuts. These sell really well for me when I do ephemera shows and whatnot. And before you know it, guys, Thanksgiving, fall, all the vibes will be here. So that's going to be for that. As far as the books, I just grabbed things that really stuck out to me. There's an Edgar Allan Poe in here um, with complete tales. It's just missing the dust jacket. There's a couple antique books, and I found one Colleen Hoover, which was pretty cool. And then I found some different sets and just books that seemed kind of like popular or a little bit um, newer that people would want. And then I didn't get a picture of it inside the store, but there was a free box, which Salvation Army, I've never seen them have like a free box before, but they had a ton of calendars in there 
and they were all sealed and so I grabbed a good amount I didn't want to be too greedy um, I just grabbed them because free either on eBay or Amazon I should be able to get you know at least a couple bucks for these worst case I put them in a garage sale um, so if I do find any comps for them I'll throw them up in this video otherwise I'll probably just do a mixture of you know giveaways or like I said garage sale or try and sell them for maybe a couple bucks a piece and whatnot we'll see we'll see what I can find for these if I can send them into Amazon that would be ideal that's what I would prefer to do um, but we'll see so yeah guys I'm really happy uh, my total spent was $11.69 so not bad at all I will definitely make my money back probably just in these die cuts because these die cuts go for about two to three dollars a piece um, sometimes a little bit more and then in the notebooks obviously I have to upcycle them and turn them into notebooks but I'm selling my notebooks for $15 shift um, on Instagram or I'm putting them up um, for $15 plus shipping on uh, Etsy um, so yeah guys hit me up if you have any interest in getting some notebooks I'm going to be right now there's 75 pages per notebook I'm probably going to be increasing that to 150 just using a whole package of lined paper for the notebooks um, and anyone can use a notebook so it kind of broadens my market a little bit um, with uh, male and female customers this is a set this is a series that seems pretty cool it's a really really thick series but this seemed pretty cool too and some of this i'm going to get listed today actually for the whatnot sale that i'm going to be doing tomorrow for the trevor project and the m society for pride month um yeah and just based on the tag here this 996 i i like to think i could get at least half of that or maybe a little bit more um because it's a 2023 calendar and it's only june so people are still buying calendars and some people will just buy the calendar because of who it is or because of you know collections and i mean this is the official bridgerton calendar so yeah i don't know we'll see i have a really good feeling about those but anyways thanks so much for watching guys changed my outfit i'm going to be going to the storage unit and uh going through some books once the baby wakes up from his nap thank you so much for watching and uh i'm pretty happy with this little haul that we got here so i will get some things listed right now and get some stuff hopefully sold within the next week